just a quick question. You personally know Steve Jobs, yeah. I assume. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, what would you say about Apple now with their huge cash flows under Tim Cook? Yeah. Is there a possibility for an innovation to come in, you know, disrupt what they're doing? Yeah. Um, listen, I, I think what Apple has to do to, be, to remain great is to continue to jump to the next curve. So you could make the case that it created the personal computer curve with Apple I. It created the uh, WYSIWYG uh, friendly user interface curve with Macintosh. It created smart electronic devices, iPhone, iPod, iPad. So the question is, what's the next curve? And I haven't seen that answer yet from Apple. Um, you know, I, I look at Apple and I, I use all Apple products. Uh, now, I look at this new MacBook Pro, and it took three years to get a MacBook Pro. Um, it has only Thunderbolt 3, you know, USB-C ports. I don't understand that. Their phone has no headphone jack, and but they can't ship the headphone. You know, we have some minor problems going on here. So, I, I don't know Tim Cook. Probably Tim Cook doesn't even know who I am. But, you know, for me, Apple is like the hero, right? And I want my hero to succeed, and I want my hero to make a computer and a phone that makes me say, I'm going to retire my Macintosh, and I'm going to go to the next thing. I'm going to retire my iOS device. I'm going to go to the next thing. That's my hope for Apple. Um, that's my dream for Apple. That's what I think it will take for Apple.